and I really believe that this is the perfect combination of both of them. We're going 70 miles an hour, folks. A lot of you have been asking me to find smaller motor coaches that are still ultra luxury. Today I'm hanging out at Transwest in Belton, Missouri, and we've seen some really cool King Airs like uh, this one that my good buddy Lance uh, has shown us. Lance, how you doing today, sir? Too blessed to be stressed. How are you doing, Andrew? Excellent, thank you. Good. So you've got quite a variety of motorhomes. Yep. And you were telling me about this Newmar New Air and how it's very oh, similar to the Newmar King Air. Yeah, that's right. So the new era was the answer to those people that are looking for an ultra luxury coach, but they want to kind of keep it in that 35 foot range so they can get into those national parks. This is the answer to that. We have this beautiful King Air right here and you guys will see a lot of similarities that's inside this coach and outside that will actually pair up just like the new air. So by just looking at the outside here, you can see that it's got the beautiful masterpiece finish that Newmar is famous for. You got your BAS uh, paint, your industrial finishes, and then you'll see it has that really nice uh, stainless uh, trim kit that you would expect to see in our Highline King Air videos. And just like the King Air, and just like a lot of your buses out there, you'll have bonded windows, right? Yeah, so, so what's a bonded window? What's the difference between this and other windows other motorhomes are going to have? So when you go to a bonded window here, right, it's just like an automotive windshield like on your car. It actually bonds right to the surface, so it helps eliminate a lot of wind squeal, and it just makes it a much more quieter ride, and you'll notice there's no hardware in here. So you get unobstructed views, so from the inside looking out, it's an absolutely beautiful view. Now, even other Highline Newmar product like the Dutch Stars don't have those bonded windows? or they don't, they don't have the bonded windows. And here's the other thing, too, that makes the new air the little brother to the King Air. So like on that King Air, you're looking at a dry weight about 49,000 pounds. And that has a 600 horsepower motor, whereas the new Air, you're at about 32,000 pounds, but you get a 450 motor. Now, prior to that, this, these things came out in 2018. They came out with the 360 and people were unhappy that you had this high of a luxury coach, but that small of a motor. So Newmar answered the call, came out with the 450, and this thing is loaded with power. I can only imagine. Now, I don't think I've ever driven a Newmar New Air. Do you think we could take this one for a test drive today? Absolutely. We sure can. <laughs> We're in luck today. So just like the King Air has the integrated awnings, you're going to notice too, uh, it does have that nice uh, reveal up there where it's got that vanity uh, cap on this side, but on the other side, your awnings are integrated actually into the roof. Um, this will have the hydronic heating system, what people are accustomed to. They want that endless hot water, but it's also responsible for heating your environment. Heated floors. You're gonna have heated floors in this, and you're gonna have some beautiful cabinetry. Wait till we get to the inside. You also have the egress door too, right? In a short coach, guys, in a diesel pusher, you don't typically see a side-mounted radiator. Ah, that's true, yes sir. So just like in a King Air, you have a side-mounted radiator. Both are gonna be on a Spartan chassis. You've got the K3 chassis over here on the King Air, but guess what? Little brother comes with the K2. So K2, uh, 450. Now you're all going to have the um, safe hall here. So if you have an Air Force One, you've already got your air supply in there. Now what's the towing capacity on this coach? This is going to be 10,000 pounds. So with, with the 450 and how short this thing is, just an absolutely beautiful drive. The access to get to the, your components, your serpentine belts, your filters, uh, your coolant, what you would expect in a luxury coach. 360 degree camera system. So you got a beautiful Omni view system. It's power window awnings, along with the integrated awnings in the roof. And I just love this uh, paint job. We just stand back and take a look at this thing. Yeah, the white, silver, and black. I think those are the best colors on any coach or car, in my now, opinion. We're in a cold environment today, but if you're in Arizona or you're in a hot climate, this thing's gonna do so much better keeping cool in those hot environments. What may, why, oh, just from the colors or? Just from the colors. Yes, sir. This actually looks like uh, the same grab handle that we see on the King Airs as well. I like the styling of that and then the uh, entry code for the, the door entry there. So what's neat about this, guys, when you're getting into a coach like this, um, it's not just keyless. You can, you can actually uh, open and lock just the door. You can unlock just the cargo doors. Maybe you wanna keep this locked, but you wanna unlock your cargo door. So there's a lot of functionality just in this part of it. But now that we got it open, I wanna kinda of show you what we got going on here. This is what makes these new airs, or actually new more all together, such a special coach is they're built on a star foundation. So you got 16 inch on center on the walls and you got the star foundation. And this is 
one of the quietest, easiest, best riding coaches out there on the planet for a 35 foot coach. We're gonna test drive it in a moment too and I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm All looking right. forward to that. But I like this different style where the bays uh, open up. No bar, right? So just uh, you got your barn style doors where they open up like this and the uh, controls are actually on the door itself. Oh, so power slide trays uh, like we see in the King Air as yeah. well. And these do have a thousand pound carrying capacity like the King Air slide trays. That's correct. Now on the newer King Airs, one thing that I'm gonna notice that the new Air does not have is the new Air still does have latches for the baggage doors where the newer King Airs are gonna have a push button basement door. Yep, that's correct. You still get your Dometic for freezer, but I mean, the coach shrinks, so does the ice chest, but it still gives you the convenience to have your beverages, ice cream, <laughs> and you also get an additional slide tray. Now, probably didn't have to do that, but you know what? If you like to shoot or maybe fishing rods or anything like that nature, it's a great little area to, to start. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And again, power slide tray, I like that. If you guys like to entertain or if you like to tailgate, this is a great option. I really like how this is up and it's a side mounted and you do have this nice little switch here. So if you are playing radio on the dash, you can actually switch it from the TV and play your dash music right to the Bose soundbar here. A uh, smart TV, I would assume you could watch YouTube out here? You sure can. Now what about internet? Uh, do these coaches come with the internet setup? So or? This, will have, this will have a wine guard uh, router. So you can either use it as a booster or you can subscribe to a service and it will provide internet to the coach. The other things too that I really, that I think just puts, separates Newmar from a lot of coaches out there is I love how they these slides actually recess into the wall. Um, this is just gonna help keep your seals uh, healthier over the years and it's just gonna make for a much quieter drive. The 35 uh, 43 4 plan is measuring in at about 12 foot, three inches tall, whereas the King Air is 13 feet, four inches tall. So uh, a much smaller profile, but boy, if you need to get into those tight places or maybe you got some trees with some lower branches, this guy can scoot right through them pretty easy. And now I see the advertising for the comfort steer. We're gonna demonstrate that in a moment when we test drive it, but the turning radius on this has gotta be just... Uh... It's phenomenal. So with, you got your Spartan chassis, which has about a 50% thicker frame. And then you take the comfort drive in addition to this having a Spartan chassis. It is going to be a drive unlike any other, especially all wrapped up into a nice 35 foot coach. What size is the generator? I know the King Air is a 12.5 generator. What's the generator? So the King Air has three air conditioners and they're all going to be 15 BTU. So it has to have the 12.5, right? This is going to have an eight kilowatt uh, gener generator, but you have two 15 BTU, but you, you've chopped off initially 10 feet of coach that you don't have to cool. So it doesn't need to have that much power to actually run everything inside the coach. Now, as far as safety, you're gonna notice that this does, this does have what's called mobile eye. So collision avoidance, adaptive cruise control, things that you would typically get standard in a King Air also comes in this new air. Coming into the door, you're gonna see that we actually have a little bit of storage here underneath. And nice deep storage yeah and i love the style on these captain's chairs here with the, these horizontal lines just a really cool stitching there so this was ordered with an oversized seat so all you pet lovers you've got room for your furry friends um and this is going to have a power lumbar in it as well and they're heated seats so massaging seats doesn't have the massaging seats okay now the king air will have those king air does have that let's go into the king air real quick and let's show them that and then we're going to come back into a full tour of this okay. coach and now this is a 2020 king air this is a pre-owned unit and this is a blow there you guys have a blowout deal on this coach yeah this thing is just a hair under seven hundred thousand. i think it's like 699 805 and it is absolutely immaculate front end cap of course you got your hidden windshield wipers on the king air the windshield wipers are tucked down were they exposed on the new air yes okay they're exposed on the new air at the mobile eye so yes, sir. what you're getting in the king air you're also getting in the new air we popped out a, a power window awning for you this is what they like about the king airs too is this no handles right it's a push of a button now if that does fail there is a way to manually get into that if you need to okay yeah the same uh stainless strips down the side give it a really cool look like we saw in that new air and here again this is that same style grab handle so coming into the king air you're going to notice that the the steps are actually well lit uh beautiful look but unlike the new air where you had a little bit of storage this one didn't doesn't have the storage the, these ceilings are very similar to what we saw uh in the new air there really cool style and i 
I really like this door that's separating the bedroom. These light switches, I think that's a little more high end than like what we would see in a Dutch star. Did the new air have those same light switches as yeah. well? Yeah, so this, like the multiplex wiring system, you're gonna see all these panels located all throughout the coach. It gives you the ability to uh, do a lot of different functions. Like for instance, if I just hit the day shades, I can do and control a lot of these functions here with all these, I can do that from over here or from over there. And the new air actually had the same setup. Yeah, and I like all these shades are extremely smooth. The cockpit area, how does the new air cockpit compare to the so the they're air. they're really similar you're going to have the two 10 inch monitors x -Lite monitors uh you're still going to have the smart wheel system that you would get normally in the new air and then you're going to notice how oversized these seats are here for the driver and passenger um i would say the only uh separation you're really going to get is this one you get the massage uh chairs whereas in the new air you do get the power lumbar and you do get the extra wide seat, but you just don't get the massage function in it. This is a little bit different style with almost like a suede inlay where the new air had that. I, I like, it was almost like a Mercedes Benz style. That is. And if you'll notice the dash, like the stitching in the dash, the new air has very similar uh, dash components as far as how all this is made. And then coming through the rest of the coach, I mean, the solid surfaces here, they're beautifully done very highly polished when you go into the new air very similar again uh you got your brush nickel hardware here which the new air has it's a different design but similar cabinets uh same style cabinet um just different color and, and a lot more high end than what we're going to see in like a dutch star or mountain much air more, or much uh, more high end now london air and essex are you going to start to get into that same level of cabinets or where does that start on the 45 foot coaches so yeah you don't see these cabinets in the london air or essex but um, what's kind of cool is that they actually put them in the new air. So yeah. just a, a really nice uh, level to get that, that. This luxury all packed into 35 feet. Uh, but this coach, beautiful, right? You've got your, this is bath and a half. But you know, you get that when you're tacking on 10 extra feet, right? You got your big king bed here. Does the new air have a king size bed? It does. Nice. Yeah, king bed. I mean, 35 foot. I mean, man, they just, they did it right. Gorgeous cabinetry, the ceiling treatment. Again, very similar to the new air. When we get inside the new air, you're gonna see it's all very similar. The way that they have all this frosted in here in the panels, you'll actually see a lot of these same touches in the new air, so. And what about this sink? I love that hammered copper look. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, I I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's pretty darn nice. <laughs> yes sir, yes but sir. But when you're going into 45 foot, just like how long this sink is. I mean, this is a big, big sink. Yeah, this bathroom is huge back there. Yeah. Um, and you'll see the shower though in the in the new air actually is a really good size it's like okay. a 40 by 32 i think cool shower is pretty big yeah well i'm looking forward to taking that new air for for a test drive but first let's go through it now real quick what's the blowout deal on this king air i had to let you guys know about it because this is priced to sell under seven hundred thousand for a twenty thousand mile newmar king air smoking deal so we're asking 699.805 how many miles are on this coach uh let's see if we can take a look here yeah, and wireless i mean we're gonna see that wireless charging in the new air as well push button have start the comfort steer and will like the dutch stars have the push button start as well no they won't have that they won't have that so if we have this is the spartan chassis is the new air on a freightliner chassis no it's on spartan it is spartan okay. yeah 36,984. so 2020 you figure 2023s are out right now this would have been sold in 2019 so actually not that bad and i mean for a three three-year-old coach for a million less than what the new one's sticker for yeah it's and, and if you guys see like we said the condition of this thing is absolutely superb it this, will not disappoint this is a great opportunity for someone but let's check out this new air here one of the things you'll notice guys here on the new air i mean it's got the beautiful cap with that rear air spoiler that you would see on the king air but i love this this is new you got this beautiful stainless very this uh, stainless steel trim kit that they put on the rear uh very nice king air i don't see this is a different so same kind of spoiler system but you're just you just don't have that stainless on here so i just like how that ties in with the stainless that they ran down the side of the coach so coming back into the new air here the cockpit the screens are these the same size monitors or yeah so you got this is going to be two 10 inch which we had the king air two 10 inch excite monitors you can see you got your smart wheel system on there so your windshield wipers uh cruise control is going to be over there on the stick 
Yeah, and like you said, that same style of stitching like we saw on the King Air, and that light is, it's not flickering, it's the LED, the, the camera shutter, so I apologize for that. It's actually a, a solid blue light when the human eye sees it. Uh, there's that wireless charging, and, and so this I like the angle where you put your phone, but if you yes. want. Yes, they actually improved the angle, because the other one, it's not flat, but you know, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times I love my phone for GPS, and if you're that kind of person, this thing will sit up vertical while it's charging. Yeah, a lot of value in that. And this is a 2022 where that was a 20, so just little improvements. Now the new King Airs are gonna have that that same style of charging port, I believe. Yeah, they're gonna have the same style of charging port. They're the new King Air, yeah, the 2023. Yes, You're absolutely sir. right. Uh, power window awning, which you would get in the King Air. And then um, you also get the, the buddy system over here. You got your passenger side monitor, which will, you can run through the radio stations, the GPS, things of that nature. And you also have dual climate control. So you got pass, you got driver's side, but you also have the passenger over here. They can actually control the heating and cooling on their side of the coach. Another thing that the newer has is like this bonded window you'll see here on the King Air has no hardware, so no obstructed view. Just gives you a, a, a nice, better view. But again, you don't hear the wind noise when you're driving down the road. Yeah, yeah, and then those same. Uh same touch panels for the light switches what all can you control from these little touch panels so some of the improvements um you're going to notice this is the same type of pad that you would see in the king air but i like how they've actually made this all flush so this is all glass so it's easy to clean um but you can go through if we hit the home you get your lighting your shades your fans the different systems which is going to be like your water pump your tv your that's on the televator there um you got your monitor panel, which is going to be probably tank levels here and battery levels. Window awnings, so the outside has power window awnings as well. So just like in the King Air, you have those bonded windows. These are the best in class. There is no 35 foot out there that has these kind of windows. The fact that you've got a window there, this is all bonded, no hardware in there to obstruct your view. The nicest view offered in a 35 foot. Absolutely. And I really like even the windows on the insides of the slide rooms are much larger. Uh, just that, that little bit of more space over in size over other style windows really makes a world of difference. And then the clean, just that black uh, pillar there. I, I just like the cl how clean it is. Other nice things about this, this, these slides completely seal off. So you'll notice the floor is completely flush here. You don't have a rise there. And then the ceiling treatment just like in the King Air, it had this nice run here for your central air system, just beautifully done. Something that you'd expect in a high line coach. Just across from here from these beautiful recliners, um, we've got a really nice booth dinette and I like where it's located, right? Because passenger side is typically where your patio is. Yeah. So if you're gonna be at a national park or something, you know, if I'm eating, I don't wanna be sitting here looking at my neighbors, I'd rather be looking at my friends and family or whatever my setup is. So with the extra size, oversized large window, when I'm sitting here eating a dine, eating a, actually, you know what? Maybe you can get a better advantage if you're sitting here and just being able to see yeah. the view out of this is absolutely amazing. Yeah, really, you know, panoramic views in this coach. But one thing I wanna point out, how much leg room you have here. So some of the motorhomes, you know, not only the leg room, but the depth of the of the bench here. Sometimes the motorhome seats are a little more narrow, so you don't have as much room to, to sit. But here I'm gonna I'm gonna sit across from Lance here. And there's a lot of a lot of motorhomes where if we were, you know, two tall dudes sitting here at a table, we'd be we'd be running into each oh, yeah. other. We've so got two feet between our kneecaps. This is this is one of the larger, more comfortable style dinettes I've seen in a motorhome. And then also too, I like that it's got this kind of cushion here where if you want to kind of tilt out and relax a little bit and uh, lounge. But then also you've got more, you know, countertop space here. Now this is the TV with the televator, but this, this view, you're not kidding. Like this is going to be your patio side. And when you're sitting here, this is just the way this is designed. I like this uh, this surface too. This is something we're gonna see in the King Airs, this style of surface yes, on the so countertops. This, this is a, a really nice high polished hollow surface. And um, this is something that actually, when we just got out of the, the 2020 King Air, very similar to this. And speaking of similarities, the bonded windows was one of them with that, uh, no obstruction in the windows here, but the cabinets, right? So when you look at these cabinets, um they're solid they don't have the raised panels they got the beveled edges all solid woods um just absolutely gorgeous 
Yeah, we do have the uh, the MSRP here, six hundred and sixteen thousand dollar MSRP, five hundred and fifty nine thousand dollar base price. So this is going to have sixty uh, fifty seven thousand dollars in options here. The power slide trays, basement freezer, integrated awnings, bonded windows, super high end luxury cabinets. Um, you know, solid surface, no carpet on the slide outs, heated floors. There's just so much wrapped into this. Your Spartan chassis, your collision mitigation system. It is absolutely loaded. But here's the beauty. Even though we're 10 feet shorter than the King Air, we're also 10 feet shorter on the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know it. A lot, a lot shorter on the price. Yes. Yeah, yeah. A million, without without mil having to give up a lot of the luxury, right? So yeah, a million dollars shorter on the price, really. So yeah, what makes it nice in a short, little, tiny coach like this is space, right? The fact that you've got all this extra storage, you got a really nice cup holders here, but um, look how deep that is. Just, oh, yeah. I mean, just offers you a lot of space, and then you've got all that upper upper cabinet storage yeah can you open that again yeah. i just want to point out dovetailed now that's super high end is that something that's going to be in the dutch stars as no. well okay no. so the dovetailed cabinets you, you have to be in a luxury coach and anymore that's going to be the one the one million to the 1.7 million dollar coach that's when you get your dovetail okay. unless you're in anywhere yes sir so when you're getting into a coach this level you're going to notice like your your heating registers they're all gonna be trimmed out. You're not seeing just a, a bunch of metal anywhere. So uh, this will have the hydronic heating system. So that's gonna be responsible for heating your water, heating your environment. What about heated floors? This does have heated floors as well. Nice, that's another high line feature, huh? Absolutely, and if you're gonna be in cold environment, especially like a day to day, this fireplace is a nice addition. You can, this is gonna be an electric fireplace. It's not LP, but um, it does a great job heating up the space very sleek i love just the clean look here even the crown molding the way they did that i just how like this accent lighting yeah it is cool and just the depth of this countertop i mean you're talking 35 feet and this thing is just absolutely a ton of counter space for such a short little coach mm -hmm. and what you would typically see in uh numerous highline coaches is you got uh not just beautiful but practical you got cutting boards built into the countertop you got your true induction cooktop, which actually is removable. So if you do want to take this out, let's say you're cooking something like fish and you want to keep all that heat and that smoke and smell outside of the coach, go put it down on the picnic table and cook outside. Now there is a vent and again, you know, this vent with the fan has this beautiful uh, wood cover uh, over it. Yeah, everything you're going to see, they try to, they try to hit every detail. So everything should have some type of finish touch to it, even the vent covers. Um, now, except for when you get into the bathroom, they typically don't do that just because of the high humidity that's pumping through the, okay. the vent. So this is going to be on silver leaf. This is something that you would see only in Newmar's luxury line coaches. So this is going to be your silver leaf uh, control system where you can go through control the floor heat, outdoor locks. You can actually even go through the different camera systems. So you can cycle through um, the different views. Hey, we've got the big brother right yes, there. Yes, sir. There's that King Air. Um, so like, you know, if there's maybe a little wild animal or something, you can kind of see what's going on around the coach. Yeah, if someone rings your doorbell and you don't you just want to look out there. Yeah, or... Absolutely, that's the door handle right there to the front door. Yes, sir, and then there's your floor heat controls. Climate controls. Um, it's just nice to be able to have a central place and you got multiple zones within this coach. Generator, of course, your power management system. If your batteries get low, it'll automatically protect itself it'll turn on and then once it gets charged to a certain point it'll actually turn off so you're just not burning fuel now this is probably going to be one of my favorite parts of a new air is this bathroom is absolutely phenomenal the nicest bathroom in a 35 foot coach bar none yeah cool sink i've got to got to get everybody a close-up of that and then i also like the backlit mirror there you've got the emergency mm -hmm. egress door and this shower right? oh yeah you got that like that stone uh pan beautiful uh, this is tile work. beautiful yeah inlaid tile here in the walls and look at the size of this shower head my goodness this thing is now i'm i'm six foot and i can sit underneath here you're probably six two so even for such a low profile being 12 foot three inches overall height of the coach to be able to put a shower this big inside this look how wide this thing is it's absolutely huge Again, six foot, 260 pounds. I can get around pretty good. 
you got your teak seat here if you just want to sit and soak nice little grab handle here that grab handle was an option as well i like that they yes. utilize just nice to have and something you would see in a king air right your body wash conditioner shampoo dispensers got your aquamizer down here so if you want to uh if you like to dry camp or boondock this is a great way to preheat your water before it even comes out. This tile inside of, of this coach, this is definitely something you're gonna see in the higher end product. It almost it almost appears like it's like a fabric, but this is a hard surface tile, just giving it a, a with the matte finish and the different patterns, just give it such a cool look. And then I love that drain. They have these little, uh, little things to catch any drip, but beautiful drain uh, there, the way that's inlaid. You do oh. get your uh, exit door. So um, if you do need to make a quick exit, out the side of the coach you go. Power shades too, night and day shades throughout the coach. That's right. Uh, Samsung refrigerator, same style like we're going to see in a... I love this, right? Samsung TV, Samsung refrigerator, and I just happen to be a Samsung fan. I love everything Samsung. You're just going to get the high-end appliances. You're not going to get your standard Norcold or your What Whirlpool. would a Dutch Star have? Uh, I would have Whirlpool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, when you're getting into this extra nice, we just need that little extra step up. Yeah, and Fisher Pickel uh, dishwasher too. That's like what we're gonna see in the, the Highline coach. You sure would. One thing I like about this refrigerator, it does have a lock on it. So when you do pull on it, you're not gonna have your your the, you know your milk out on the floor while you're taking <laughs> corners. Uh, but just to get into it, you just slide that little lock right there and she'll open right up. Beautiful residential refrigerator. Something you would expect in a nice Highline coach. And you got your nice pantry, and I like how it lights up as soon as I open the door. No, Dutch Star. We're like, you know, I keep saying Dutch Star because that's the so, most popular new So, model. actually, this is going to be closer to like what you would be seeing in our King Air uh, when you open it up and how this thing lights up as soon as the door opens. Um, now, what I do like on these compared to what you'd see in some of the older coaches is this these are locking drawers now. So, you actually have to push on it to release it. So, if you listen, Mm -hmm. You can hear that that actually locks the pantry uh, drawer in place. And I love how it lit up when you open the door. Does the uh, the, the non-luxury lines, like maybe a Ventana or a Dutch no. Star, they won't do that. They don't. Real quick, I just got to show everybody. Sure. I love these little details. Again, dovetailed there. Just incredible, the craftsmanship. and the... Yeah, you will not see that in a Dutch Star. Yeah. Dutch Stars are still nice. I mean, everything has its price and its price point, right? But um, even the crown molding. I, I yeah. was just looking at that. I mean, just... Just finished off that, you know, that's a three or four inch piece of crown molding there that really ties it together nicely. Yes. And what I like about what they've done here, short little coach, cathedral style ceiling. Yeah, this so- It feels absolutely huge in here. Yeah, so the ceiling, you know, in the, in the, the hallway here, you could see it gets a lot taller back here. What is going on and how are they able to do that? So, I mean, Newmar just came out. So you do have the height of your air conditioners out there. So they actually can raise the roof to give you this nice, big, open feel back here. I mean, you just don't get this in a 35 coach with this with this type of amenities, this level of cabinetry. Um, well, and these ceilings are even going to be taller than the ceilings in the King Air bedroom, too. Yeah, it will, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as much as I hate to say it, these guys did a great job with this new air. Just a, a really nice feature. Yeah, so king size bed and i love this kind of linen style bedding that comes with the coach mm -hmm. another is this a bonded window that's, that's a bonded window as well so uh just a really nice feature like i'm standing like we're both standing here and we've actually got a great view just looking out towards the side of the coach so uh it's just something that you, you typically didn't and this is actually new for new air they didn't have that little window right there so okay um, we added that in well, now the windows on the insides of the slide room too, is that standard or are you going to see that in the other, you know, Ventanas and Dutch Stars as well or? Yeah, you'll see that. You'll see the windows on each side of that. But probably sure. not bonded windows though. You will not see the bonded. Well, you're laying in bed here, that bonded window, it's just, a, it seems like it's a little bit bigger than a lot of the other side windows and other coaches. And I like so, having that view. And because it's bonded, what it's going to do is if you're a light sleeper, if you've got any kind of wind, and I'm sure you've all been in an RV where you've heard the wind, those bonded windows, you're not going to hear the wheel, the wind trying to, you know, squeal mm -hmm. through the window. So it's actually a nice, uh, it keeps the room a lot quieter. Yeah, a lot of value in that. And I just love the styling in this coach yes. with the dark cabinets and the light countertops. I want to get up in the morning, 
you know, I, I like to sit down, put on my shoes. That's just the way it is. Yes, sir. A lot of you folks might be the same way, but I can sit here. I've got a nice little platform where I can do that. And just uh, beautifully done. Nice deep drawers. Those are not tiny by any means. You're going to have a king bed here. I like what they did over here is you'll notice there's an outlet in that cabinet and you'll see that there's a, there's a uh, cutout just above the cabinet. So right here, you'll see a cutout. So when I close this door, oh, yeah. there's a cutout. So that way you're not pinching your wires to your phones or anything like that. Okay. Or now is there room for a CPAP machine uh, in this yeah. coach? So if we just open this door here, you're going to see you've got your uh, power up there if you need to have a CPAP installed. And then a little spot. And you got a knockout right yep. there. Nice. Yeah, I like that they do that. And again, that crown molding, I want to give everybody a close up. This kind of little detail work, you're not going to see that and in other see how coaches. They arch the, the, the crown in molding the corner. Here. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, up here. Yeah. And then the, the arched crown molding. Just a, this is a sweet coach, man. And then can you close that bedroom door too? Absolutely. Same style like we're going to see in a King Air, a little more dressed up. I don't. I feel like I don't see that barn style door in some of the, the like the Dutch stars and Ventanas. That's correct. And I and one one thing I do like about this is that it's padded. So like if you're watching movies, just the sound, overall sound quality in this bedroom is actually really nice. Just like when we were in the King Air previously, um, the rear closet, you notice how it had all that nice work that was detailed inside the panels. They did the same thing here for the new air. Again, you're not going to see that in the other models. You absolutely won't. And not even in like a London Air, Mountain Air, Essex, or when, uh, where does that stuff start? This is going to be primarily in your King Air, um, but you can maybe see, Essex. You can see it in your luxury line up. So that's like your London Air, your Essex, and your King okay. Air. But those are all going to be you know in your 1.1 million to 1.7 million dollar coaches. Yes, sir. But I mean, beautifully done too, right? The the actual, I mean, just. It just pairs so nicely with the actual woodwork in this coach. Now this does light up automatically when you open the door. And that's only going to be in the luxury line or did like the Dutch stars light up when you open the closet doors? No, Dutch stars you actually have to switch the light okay. on by hand. Not trying to knock on the Dutch stars at all. <laughs> but yeah. uh, There's just levels. Extra dinette chairs and even even these dinette chairs, can you pull that out? Just Absolutely. I don't know, just the quality. You know, there's there's different levels of dinette chairs. So this is a rift oak. So I mean, this this chair is solid. I mean, you could be a pretty, you can be my size, and you're gonna sit here and you're gonna feel safe sitting in the sink. So it's a nice. All right, let me. I gotta try. We are test, gonna go for a test drive. We're, we're doing a test drive on the seat. Test drive's coming very soon, but oh my gosh, this is like. <laughs> It's just a really one of the most comfortable folding chairs I've ever sat yeah, in. The padded back is really yeah, nice. Yeah, just the way in there's there's like a curvature here and I don't know why I'm so excited about yeah. a folding chair, hey. but that's you know You know it's it's the oh the just the, the way this hardware is too. I don't know. It's it's all the small details that add up that paint the big picture. Yes, sir. So. All right. So again, like in the non-luxury, because you are going to have extra dinette chairs in your Dutch Stars you and will. Mountaineers, Ventanas, they're just not going to be quite as beefy well, and high end. Or? Like the padding in this thing, I mean, it feels like you're sitting on furniture. Seriously, yeah. yes, sir. Yeah. Um, so going into the into the closet too. I mean, you got your shoe garage back there. You got your safe. But what I also like, what they've done here is the access panels to get to the washer and dryer. So you do have a nice little um, place to get to the valves, but I like how they finished it off. Yeah. And then they got breaker the panel. breaker panel here inside the closet. Super clean. And just looking at these doors, like this door is so solid. I mean, it's heavy. This it's, is a nice heavy door. It's it's. That's a solid well, piece that, of wood. that style, the way this swivels out, again, it looks like there's a piano hinge. Uh, I, again, that's just all those little details, huh? It is, absolutely. So, got your stack washer dryer in here, and I like it, right? Out of the dryer, onto the bed, onto the hanger. All right, guys, I've heard about this. I'm excited. So, real ergonomic cockpit, the, the view. Let me just hold this camera real yep. quick to show everybody. You know these and that flickering light is my camera Th those are all not flickering that's the lens i apologize but the ergonomics looking at the the screens here are just so visible you've got your navigation screen your cameras 
everything is very clear and bright. So that digital display is exactly what you would see in a King Air. Uh, tire pressure monitoring system on the new Air. Here we can go through all of the different screens and I'm kind of holding, a, oh, there's the password there. Uh, can we go to the comfort drive and adjust that? Sure can. So I like it on five. No, keep it on keep five. It five. Yeah, yeah, I like it more firm. Uh, five is gonna be more firm. Uh, one is gonna be a little bit more soft. So lots of, you can check your tire pressure monitoring system oh, here. And you can actually uh, turn some, you can control the sound that a lot of the thing makes. Let's go to tire pressure monitoring system. A lot of stuff can be can done. Control the distance on your adaptive cruise control. Oh, okay, yeah. Long, I like that. Push button start. Over here, I like that wireless charging port. Very easy, ergonomic to get to these buttons. Cup holders, I like that. Simple Allison uh, transmission gear selector. Air conditioning controls here, and then little drawer there to set stuff. Very er ergonomic. You got your visor, courtesy lights, air horn, entry lock. You can start your generator, your fans. Uh, engine brake, high, medium, and low. Is that what that <clears> is, or? Uh, high, medium, and low is gonna be for your fan. Oh, for the fan. So okay. You can turn it on. Docking lights, uh, visor shades can adjust the pedals. Simple volume control button there. But Lance, you want to be my cameraman? Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm excited to drive this. All I've right, heard, guys. I've heard a lot about the new air, so this is a exciting opportunity here. 450 horsepower packed into this coach. This is this is a treat. Yeah, this is a ton of power for such a short little coach. Again, uh, dry weight on this guy, 32,000 pounds. It's going to be a joy to drive. Cool. And, and if you want to show them how chop, choppy all these roads are here. Yeah. So we're we're kind of back behind the dealership, and uh, we just thought we'd uh, take this out here in a little bit, not the best conditions, but. Uh, see how it handles no uh, this is you know right away the steering wheel um it reminds me of a luxury car it's it's responsive enough with uh, with little effort it's it, like a luxury car is how i'd like to to describe it and i like the shorter footprint automatically i drive a lot of these 45 foot coaches and this is just having that shorter uh, uh turning radius and then the comfort steer there, I just, uh, I, I forgot that this had that, had the comfort steer, but I just want to show everybody when I turn the steering wheel all the way one way, it will automatically go back to true center. So um, just a, a cool feature makes life easier. Which way should I turn here? Let's go left. Yeah, the seat is very comfortable, very ergonomic. I'm gonna just push it back a little bit. I've got long legs. Recline it just a little bit. So we'll just, we're gonna go straight. If you wanna show them, yeah. these are big bumps. Oh. Yeah, the roads the roads here in uh, Missouri are definitely not the best. So we're gonna get a, a, a great chance to see what this looks like. Um, this is our chassis facility over here at, uh, here at Trans West and Belton, Missouri. And just across from that, we have our RV facility where we take everything inside. And there, there's that Supreme Air that I'm going to be filming later today. I am really excited about that coach. That is bad to the bone. They have some sweet coaches coming and going here. Yeah, we got a lot of nice inventory. So we've got uh, just coming out here. I'm going to actually just drive by the lot there and. Okay. Uh, drive them by uh some of the cool inventory so you can see we got that beautiful uh superstar that we got in right there a 12 mountaineer is a deal bath and a half a mountaineer 2012 i believe it's like 229 or something yep. along those I lines i believe it's a 2013 or 2013 okay yeah, yeah. we got a nice entry level country star uh canyon star front engine diesel a nice used uh, 37 foot dust star. Some sweet Ventanas over here. And I really like the new paint schemes they're they're putting on the Ventana. Some nice Dutch stars. Oh, gorgeous, there's one new, yeah. The 
40 foot with the tag axle. You guys got some cool unit. Oh, that Supreme Air is a beast. So that's actually a bunkhouse Supreme yeah. Air. We've got uh, two Supreme Airs in stock right now, which is really nice. Some more new Airs here. That, I mean, I cannot believe you guys still have this one in stock. Absolutely stunning paint scheme on that. We did yes. a video on that coach. I just filmed this London Air in Essex, did a comparison on those two. Got the new 2023 King Air. Oh yeah. Got, we got a couple more uh, 2022s there. Heavy metal on deck here, ladies and gentlemen. Some haulers too. I filmed one of those haulers. They've got this one, they've got a 5,500 Chevy with only 850 miles on it for a hundred grand that's got all this custom work done to it that's a cool truck but real quick before we go out i want to just do a 360 around the parking lot here just to give you guys a perspective at how easy it is to turn around this coach and i think your co-workers may um wonder what the heck this new air is going to be doing circles out here but oh my gosh man i mean we're I was hoping to be able to make a straight shot back there. Holy smokes, yeah, buddy. This is a super tight turn it's, radius. It's definitely bigger than like the Sprinter van, but it's pretty tight. All right, let's put this to the test, okay? Yeah. So this little outer road, this is actually a great way to check all the little, this outer road's a little rough. And then when we swing back up here on the highway, it'll be nice and smooth. So you kind of get the to test out the best of both worlds there for this chassis. Man, this this comfort steer on these new Mars is so smooth. I drive a lot of motorhomes, and I just forget how nice that is, especially a brand new coach like this. I'm gonna hammer down yeah, a little. Yeah, hammer down, baby. That little responsiveness, like if you're in a 45 footer, it's not so fast off the line like that, but. Uh, no, we're going almost 45 miles. I mean, this is honestly, this is almost as fast as that hauler was yesterday. Oh, so I went over the line there because there was a turn lane. I really like that. And it's really narrow streets if you want to show them. So um, that, that mobile eye right there has lane detection. Just the, if you start straying out of your lane, you can actually... So uh, it's, yeah, it's vibrating my seat and it beeps at me, which I really like if, you know, if I was getting drowsy and for some reason I wasn't staying in my lane, that's gonna wake you up and catch your attention. And, uh, you know, driving a motor home on a narrow road like this too, this is, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm taking up the whole lane now is this the same width as like a king air or what's the difference in actually width? no it's a, it's a little bit narrower it's like uh oh was it eight foot i think it's eight foot six inches am i gonna go right here or we're gonna take, yeah we're gonna take a right yeah, if you want to show them the road too just so they can kind of see so we're coming up to a nice little roundabout makes it actually really nice uh when you're in a 35 footer and some of these roundabouts can get pretty tight uh, yeah, eight foot six inches was the width. And I, I had to kind of stop pretty quickly there with some other traffic. I didn't know if I had the right of way or not, so I stopped and let them through. But it, this thing stopped very quickly, very easy to maneuver. That was a. I, I've driven other motorhomes through there, and I think I might have caught a rear wheel at one point. Where this is just a lot easier to maneuver maneuver through those areas, and you know. You know I'm taking it easy when school buses are passing me, but <laughs> out of respect for the new owner of this coach, we want to get this safely back to Trans West. That looks good. <laughs> oh. Got the geese out there swimming. This is one nice thing about this great big windshield like this. Just beautiful views all throughout the new area here. Now, does this have a step cover? It does have a step cover. Okay. So let's go ahead and close that up. We'll, we'll go ahead and close this up so you can see it. What's nice about that step cover is you'll notice that it comes up and then it goes flush. So there's no inset there. Just a nice place to be able to relax your foot without having one foot higher than the other. Can you show them this road too? Just because this is, it's, it's an extremely bumpy road. So I want people to understand that we are 
this, these are not, you know, I've seen other test drive, I've test, I've done so many videos test driving motorhomes, and it would be really easy to just turn the camera off and only go on the silky smooth roads. And there are some, you know, test drive videos out there that I've seen on YouTube where I'm like, all right, these are probably silky smooth roads, but we're giving you guys the real, I mean, a lot of cracks and divots geez. and crowning and ruts and <laughs> you guys get some weather up in this part of the world yeah we sure do and uh i would say this time of year if you're coming to buy a coach from us bring your jacket yes sir <laughs> don't forget your coat so this is going to be a much smoother road you can tell already and i'm going to hammer down there for acceleration so one thing that uh that we're that we're not hearing is any of the wind noise in the cab it's actually very quiet in here um and that's what that's what you get with the bonded windows you don't get a lot of that wind squeal yeah that's a it's a big difference i've driven a lot of different motor homes right that, here. that do you know most you got to realize you've got a huge basically rectangular shape going down the road that wind is going to be trying to get through any little seam it can and um this is the real deal here now were all the king when did the king air start doing the bonded windows because i don't think the older king airs had the bonded windows or do you know what year i don't i think it's 2016 not yeah no i worries. don't know but i think it was 2016 no worries this is so smooth so now i mean I'm getting on the interstate. I need this power. We've got traffic coming up here, so I wanna, and again, it, it knows I'm going over that line without having my turn signal on, so it vibrated the left side of my seat. I like that, it lets you know which line you're crossing, and then it was beeping as well. Man, this is a dream to drive, Lance. I'm really wishing that this coach, uh, was a little more in my price range right now because this is the perfect combination. You know, I've had the big coaches, I've had the leisure travel van, and I really believe that this is the perfect combination of both of them. And look at, I mean, we're going down the highway right now. We're going 70 miles an hour, folks. This is just a dream to drive with the comfort drive, the steering wheel, And, and ladies and gentlemen, I do want to warn you, I, I do want to warn you, if you come out here and hang out with Lance and test drive one of these coaches, and you've got enough money in your bank account to write that check, be careful because this is, uh, like once you know, you know, and I'm, I'm ruined now, I'm, I'm ruined Lance, you, you've spoiled me, I just got to work harder and make more money and be able to afford this now what kind of a deal so this is a 600 what's the msrp on this coach again so i have to check but i believe it was 618 and um so we need a blowout deal what's what's the blowout deal you'll do for the viewers or what if i was going to buy this coach what do you think what kind of a deal do you think we can get so actually we actually that we have this at a blowout price right now guys starting in you know in the low 600s we're gonna be asking 449 805. Give me a call. Let's let's make something happen. Let's get you out there camping in a luxury short coach. Let's get you to the little brother to the king here. If someone's a serious buyer uh, and they want to become the next owner of this coach or one of the other coaches you have here at Trans West, mm -hmm. who should they get a hold of? Well, guys, I'd be honored uh, if I could help you. I'd love it. Uh, you can reach me at 208 290 5750. Give me a give me a call. I'd love to help you. Awesome, Lance. I greatly appreciate you and the team at Trans West. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Take care. Thanks, Andrew.